What I often find is that when a parent is not being allowed to see their child, it's because there has been some breakdown of communication with the other parent, a breakdown in the relationship, perhaps because of an argument over money or an argument over a new partner. They're normally the main reasons. And of course, the parent who isn't seeing their child gets very angry and defensive about that and focuses, perhaps understandably, on their parental rights. And when we talk about children, we don't talk about parental rights, we talk about parental responsibilities. And in fact, the legal term is parental responsibility. If you are a father married to uh, the mother of your children or have been married to the mother of your children at any point, either before or after they were born, then you automatically share parental responsibility, which means that you are in exactly the same legal position as the mother. And in those circumstances, it's often very difficult to uh, understand or accept that you're being prevented from seeing your child or children um, when you know that you have the legal uh, when you know that you are in a legal position to do so. And again, that leads to a feeling of the only place that I can sort this out is through the courts. If you are not and have never been married to the mother of your children, it's important that you don't assume um, that you are in the same legal position as a married parent. Uh, you're not, and you don't necessarily have parental responsibility for your children. It very much depends on the age of the child or children and whether or not you're named on their birth certificate. That's where it's very important that you take legal advice. <laughs>